my goal here is to give you nine, if you will, nine items that uh, nine problems in project. And these are common. So let me start off by just giving you a little bit more info here about me. Here I am. Um, I'm a, a senior trainer at the Versal Company. And um, uh, you can see by the picture that uh, I'm a gray beard. Been around a long time, saw a lot of issues in, in the discipline of project management, portfolio management, and of course in the tools of project management. constraining activities. Now, um, before we go any further, I'd like you folks to understand what I mean by constraining. Constraining means not allowing project to schedule where it wants. It means we are telling project that either a start date or a finish date is, uh, is involved, and its particular finish date or start date is involved in the scheduling of the task. I'll demonstrate this and what it can do for us, do to us as well. Here we go. Constraining activities. Now, I've, uh, I've, uh, put a constraint on the second task in this, uh, this uh, scenario, constraint activities. Task 11 is unconstrained. When you have a constraint, you'll see a, what looks like a calendar up here in your, in your indicators field. This calendar is also giving you a hint as to the type of constraint. So when you see a calendar with a blue dot, folks, that's telling you that you've got a partial constraint, meaning a start or a finish has some type of minor constraint on it. When you see a red marker in that calendar, that is a absolute constraint. What it means is that the task is tied directly to the time scale in the dates that was given to the activity. I'll show you both of those in just a moment here. So this is your first clue that in terms of the tasks in the sequence, there may be some schedule issues or possibly not even a tenable project schedule from that point forward. Let me show you what I'm getting at. Task 12, double click on it. Under the advanced tab, you'll see the constraint type is start no earlier than. And then there's a constraint date. So what this is doing is it's locking this second activity to the date, to this date. It can't start any earlier or be more aggressive. Project cannot schedule any earlier than a particular date. It can move it forward, but it can't move it uh, forward, meaning in the future, but it can't move it uh, back in a more aggressive style. So if I make the uh, duration of this top task five days, it can push the task out seven days. Here's seven days. So the task it goes out, but if I were to make it, say, uh, a half of a day, or maybe even less, 0.25 days, it's still not able to schedule the task earlier than the constraint date. If I take that same constraint and make it an absolute constraint, must start on 1.8. First of all, project doesn't like absolute constraints, so it's going to start giving you uh, questions from the planning wizard. I'm going to tell project I want to continue. And at this point, that absolute constraint is applied. When you look at the calendar in the, in the icon in the indicators field, you'll see the red dot I was talking about. Now this can be a schedule killer. Watch the screen 
as I increase the duration of the predecessor, bearing in mind as the predecessor approaches the task start in a schedule, we would hopefully see that task begin to back up into the future. Here we go. Here's a four days of activity. And on, by increasing it to five, we'll see the start of task 11 move to the right. But what you'll see with this type of constraint is that it simply brings up an error message and then allows it. Now, I want to show you one of the uh, hints that there is an issue. It's right here. This is when the, the task should be pushed out into the future, but can't because of the doggone constraint that we applied to it. It is locked to the time scale so that no matter what we do with our predecessor, I'll increase this to 10 days to make the point the second task will not move. Now, if there are tasks that follow task 12 that are sequenced with it, that part of the schedule is probably untenable if it's a true relationship. Watch out for constraints. They can completely undermine a project schedule. How do you get constraints? Well, you can go in as I did and put them right on. Just here we go, just in the advanced tab, in the properties box, the task information box, there's a number of constraints that you can apply. As soon as possible is no constraint, what I just selected. When I click it, project then schedules the successor task correctly. Now, you can drag tasks. Nervous clickers like me, they go out and click on bars. That can create an issue. That can create a constraint. Uh, typing in a date into the start or finish field will, will create a constraint, a partial constraint. Start no earlier than, finish no earlier than, or no later than. Those types of constraints can be applied with that type of activity. So just watch out for them. They can come back and haunt you in terms of your project schedule.